Welcome to the 2009 Moody Mega Math Challenge final presentations. Your paper was evaluated as being among the top six of the 389 that were submitted. When we found out we were coming to the finals, we were definitely very excited. Um, we knew that there was more teams this year, so um, we were excited to be included in the top six. We're Team 58 from High Technology High School, and today we'd like to present to you our solution to the 2009 Moody's Mega Math Challenge. The problem this year was to analyze the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. We had been expecting something along the lines of the stimulus package, and we started to work right away trying to find out information. Eventually, we found a direction, and once we got on a path, we pursued that path till the end, and we were able to come up with something that I think worked pretty successfully. The stimulus will create jobs in two ways. The first is direct employment, which we call the first wave, in which government spending through the stimulus goes straight to private industry, which then begins to employ more to fulfill these government contracts. In terms of the effectiveness of the stimulus, we, we broke it down into two waves and we were able to find that at around three million jobs would be created. So by use, knowing the current size of the United States workforce, the current size of the GDP, and how large a GDP change we expect from the stimulus, we can thus calculate the number of jobs that will be created in the second wave from the stimulus package. The Moody's is encouraging uh, interest in economics and interest in world finance, and really, you know, you can't separate economics from politics and global affairs. We then combine these to produce a general model for federal spending as a percent of GDP and unemployment, as shown here. I think we approached every single like aspect of the problem with a ton of math. The benchmarks we were looking for included uh, the, the rate of change of unemployment would be negative by 2011 and that the second derivative of unemployment would be negative by 2010. We can determine that in this specific stimulus, the most effective in a bang for buck sense sector was education, creating almost 10,000 jobs for every billion dollars of stimulus. We had been going and speculating throughout the day, okay, what questions, and you're coming up with all the little minute sort of flaws and consistencies within our paper. Final question, what did you learn by participating in the competition? I personally, I, I suspected the stimulus was a good idea even before going into this, but this really being able to work the numbers and really see how things work together and how it will help to... Just to watch them interact, it's just fantastic. That to me is the whole, that's the joy right there. And then today to see them present their solution here at Moody's. The winners of the Moody's Mega Math Challenge for 2009, High Technology High School Team 58, Lincroft, New Jersey. We won a $20,000 scholarship split between the five of us. It makes your group really focus. It makes you work together. I've never worked so well with a team before. It makes you really excited about math. I really enjoyed doing it this year, and I can't wait to do it again next year.